from the LGBTQIA plus alphabet. I represent G for gay. And I knew it since I was like little. When I came out to my mother, she said, yeah, I knew it since you were four. The funny thing with me is that most of the times it's not about my sexuality, it's more about the way I look, the way I talk, I dress, uh, how tattooed I am. They find a lot of reasons, but once I come out, most of the people are either surprised or they're like, ah, oh, sure, yeah, I could have guessed. But coming out to friends was a whole different thing. I was scared that I might get rejected, but nothing so far. <laughs> I got a lot of support from my parents and my family and they accepted me right away. So I'm in a good place, but I know a lot of people that aren't or that haven't had that experience. And that makes me sad. I knew that I was a lesbian, I think when I was seven or eight already. So for me, it's very natural to just be this way. When you're seven or eight, I think sexuality is sort of beginning, but you don't really know what it is yet. So it wasn't sort of sexual that I knew that I was a lesbian, but it was more that I knew that there was something different about me. I was so fascinated by pop queens like Nicole Scherzinger or Lady Gaga, Rihanna, and I tried to impersonate them. I was always told from friends, from bullies around the school, it was wrong. I wish that everyone could just like um, be that free. Like, I was lucky and I would wish for everyone else to have a peaceful coming out, a peaceful time, a good time being with their partner, loved ones. Like, it just has to become a normal thing. 